Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is a special edition of the Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the Miami Dolphins and the Denver Broncos. With that, we're off to the Rocky Mountain. Standing by in Denver, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Well, Coach, as far as home field advantages go in the playoffs, there are few places tougher on a visiting team than this one. Sold out in Power Field at Mile High in Denver. Coming up, it's Divisional Round Saturday, and we've got an AFC battle on tap between the Miami Dolphins and the Denver Broncos. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest. You'll take the week off. Get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. kind of runs they're gonna open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward second and four that'll be taken in there by james washington so here's a first and ten at the 38 now back to throw washington's got it a good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. On play action, they'll throw. Slings this deep from McClellan. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll set up a throw. Flush to his right. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Broncos. There he goes left side. And this is going to be brought back for a Denver touchdown. Try the right side here. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Second and two. Eluding the pressure right. He'll run it. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Offensively, they like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Back to throw here. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. They'll drop the throw. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory, right at the 40. They'll look to throw here. Now bottled up, fumble. It's out, it's 
it's loose. It's picked up by the Broncos. The big fella, the 30. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. Throwing here on first down. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Back to throw now on second and ten. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They'll set up to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. This will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Dancing to his left. Now he'll pull it down. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Partner, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with, some easy throws, some completions. He's not even the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Here we go. Set. Six to four. We begin to turn you up. Back to back. Back to throw. He's got Fuller. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Flushed out right. Complete to Washington. And he's got this down to the 35. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Give the sack to Lorenzo Carter. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. Now the pass finding its way into the hands of Eric Ebron. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. They'll look to throw to the right side to Eric Ebron. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. 
This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They're going to look to throw. Steps away to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Second and three. Buying time to his left. He'll try and run it. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Well, that's a nice job right there. He's looking downfield, but with no one open, he takes off and tries to run for it. He gets to the sidelines and gets out of bounds with a first down. Looking to throw, escaping the pressure right. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. From 10 yards out, as they are now on the board here in the first half. I can hear their sigh of relief all the way up here, partner. Now, they absolutely had to have that one, and they got it. Maybe it'll provide a little bit of spark heading into the half. And help out their defense, because they've really held serve. So now we got a ball game. No doubt about it. They are right back in it and have to feel a whole lot better about themselves. Start the second half with a run by Geis. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he takes it all the way up to the 47. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Now a good job shifting right, finding his target. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 30. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 30-yard line. He'll look to throw. Got an open man, it's Washington. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That's a good chunk of yardage It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? Flush to his right, and he's going to keep it here. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive gain. It's complete to Fuller. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. A really good pickup of 28 yards. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. And the head coach reaches for the red flag, tosses it down on the field. He wants a challenge here. sure as a coach when you throw the flag you hold your breath then you get the verification you were right a sigh of relief not only a sigh of relief a little vindication as well because every time you pull that red flag and throw it you could be costing your team a timeout he'll drop to throw he finds his target fuller and he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. As his guys are in for six. As his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Here we go. 
Rico. Can Lobo check, check, block 54, block 54. Come on. Tighten up, tighten up. Leo. Check the shot, Jack Ready. Now a handoff looking right. Able to power through. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Second and 11. Forced out to his left. He's going to take off with it. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he'll take this to the other the side of midfield pass. before Offense. going out of bounds. So the big play nullified a legal forward pass. And maybe we know why they were able to get such a good chunk of yardage on that play. That pass was illegal. Maybe worse than the loss of yardage, they also lose the down. So now it's third and long. They'll set up a throw. Going up top. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively. Brings up fourth down. Mike spot four. Mike spot four. Mike spot four. I'm up. You better break it. Check, 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 check. Switch it. Switch it. Lock it. Switch it. Now they try the right side here. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading it. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player... Disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big time guy you have to block. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Second and nine now. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. They'll look to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Will Parks. And a big... Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can. And that's what he's done very well in this game. Second down in inches. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll drop the throw, eluding the pressure right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You don't want no problem. You don't want no problem for me. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Watch tight end. Watch tight end. Tight end right. Go. Alert. Alert. Three. Second and 10. Flushed out right. And his throw here is incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to it? Maybe his rhythm was just off. He's got thrown off. 
off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, and it's good for a first down as well. They'll set up to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Going for a right side here, complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. They'll look to throw here. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Being chased out left. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. James Washington there to make the grab as they can now tie the game with the extra point here in the final two minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance. the 26 following a gain of six the Dolphins moving with a sense of urgency here second and four and it's complete he gets this one to Washington and down he goes but he takes it up to the 40 first down now but the clock continues to move now a play fake here on first down. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. The good signal calls would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Well, there have been a ton of sacks. They were just trying to prevent another. So what you're telling me is the conventional way has not really worked for them, huh? Not at all. Not at all. So he tries to grab him here, and they still get caught. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Now, they're just trying to do anything, anything possible to try and get the ball downfield and get into field goal range. And with that clock dwindling, they felt the need to take a pretty big shot there. Unfortunately, couldn't complete it. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Looking deep here for Ebron. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Will Parks there in coverage to knock it away. You got to remember, because now that we're in overtime, mistakes get magnified. So you got to walk that line between being aggressive and being careful because that was a dangerous throw right there. You obviously could not have an interception in this spot. And nearly was an interception. He's lucky to get that one back. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw here. 
And he hits his tight end, Ebron. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. A good pick up there, 22. Back to throw. He sets to fire deep. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Well, what was the term that you just used a minute ago? Well, especially in overtime, mistakes get magnified. So it's time for us to get our microscopes out, right? I mean, take a look at what's going on out there. That was very close to being a crucial play. Yeah, got to look that ball in. Didn't, and it hit the ground. Flushed out right. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. He'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. Can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They're going to look to throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. And he'll give it here to his running back. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it, because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. And he's going to score. It's a touchdown. No flags. And in an overtime thriller, they are moving on in the playoff. No rest. They get to keep playing. to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, everyone, as we say so long from Denver.